clearly you're ambitious, you have a lot of initiative, but for someone watching this who may be a little more shy or a little nervous, what exactly do you put in an email like that? I know you may not have the email in front of you, it's been a while, but just give us a brief like rundown of what do you say to someone you're contacting randomly? Oh, I saw you're also proficient in Microsoft Word. Because you know, <laughs> what, what do you say to them? Where do you find that common ground? Well, sometimes a lot of the people that I initially reached out to when I was more shy were people that were already featured on the school's website in some way. Um, they were either listed as an example of someone who's received some kind of award or participated in a particular program. So it was easy for me to say, hi, my name is UD. While I was on, you know, Insert University's website, I happened to stumble upon your um, recent award in XYZ. I think that's really fascinating. And then I would pivot to me, like I'm a prospective student thinking of applying the cycle with interest in international human rights. And I would love to hear and speak, hear more about your experience at the school. Um, and um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty generic, um, but um, I kept it short and sweet and I would just, follow up from time to time if there were particular people I was really interested in talking to. Wow, that, sound, that sounds great. I would definitely recommend anyone watching this to try and, and simulate what you did, UD, because I think it could really have an impact and it's something that most people don't even think of doing. Yes, for sure. And also professors as well. Um, although you have to be kind of careful um, because um, I think in regards to Harvard, I know I ended up getting an email from Harvard, like, okay, like you've contacted too many professors um, <laughs> from Harvard admissions um, because I just, you know, professors in areas that I would love to take classes in, you, I was also surprised at how willing or, or specific professors that ran clinics that I was interested in, speaking to them about how, what was unique about their clinic or how human, international human rights was taught within their school. And, you know, I would have, the thing with professors is to be sure to have more targeted questions because you don't want to waste their time. Um, and then I would then go to my personal statement for the school and be able to insert a sentence like after speaking with professor so-and-so about how this is, you know, some unique element of their human rights clinic, for instance. Um, it, it, I think that also strengthened my, my essays because you could see that I had already done the work and it also helped strengthen my interviews as well. Right. So really showing that you've done the homework on each individual school, contacting professors and alums, and you can work that in to your essays as well. 